Hello there my fellow stars, it's Ventrix here with another Minecraft video and today we're back with an Mod Showcase at the lab. As you see we got Raven right in back of us, she's ready to tell me what she's got set up in the back so let's go and talk to her and see what's going on in this Mod Showcase today. So hello Ventrix, today we're looking at two lucky based mods. Alright, so that's pretty cool. What mods is it? Today we're looking at the... We're looking at the... That's what I meant to say. I think I accidentally put that. Today we're looking at the Chance Cubes mod and the Lucky Clovers mod. Okay, so those two mods sound awesome. Chance Cubes is familiar because we actually have that one of our series, so... What's the Chance Cubes mod? Chance Cubes mod 1.12.2 and 1.11.2 is a Lucky Block alternative mod. Explore your world, open these, mis these mystical blocks to obtain random items, some rewards helpful while others can be devastating. For rewards that spawn hordes of zombies, depth traps, one that build full houses, provide next level items, each reward has its own unique twist that, that makes it feel special. Okay, so what's the Magic Clover Mod? Let's see what that one is. Magic Clover Mod 1.12.2 and 1.10.2 adds 4 leaf clover to Minecraft. 4 leaf clover is a random drop from the grass. Change is configurable, so you can configure it, so that's pretty cool. When you right click on it, a random item or block or even creeper will be dropped from to the ground in front of you. You could also use a dispenser to activate this item, so that's pretty cool. So you could just do that. So, where do I see this stuff? I have it all set up in the open grass area right ahead. Oh, and look in the chest. There's some stuff in the chest to help you. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, she's got stuff. Ooh, some iron gear. I'm guessing it's because mobs spawn out this. Like, the monsters will spawn deed, like zombies and stuff like that. So, she gave us a full set of iron and a diamond sword so we can, we can take care of the mobs while we take care of these type of things. So, here is the stuff we got set up. As you guys can see, I got everything set up. So, to make normal chance cubes, you just need a bunch of normal lapis or in a lapis block and you will create this beautiful block right here which if you open it like I, like I said a chance of a trap mobs rewards this block is a lot of stuff this to me if I had to like if I had to describe this mod it's more the trolley version of the lucky block it's like it's like big time dangerous sometimes so we got Marlin we're right here so that's pretty cool and then, oh my goodness, we just got a Skyblock Island. Guys, we literally just got a Skyblock Island. That is pretty cool. And I hate that auto jump is on because, oh no. I don't have anything to actually break it with to um, help my life. C can you just, no, no water? Come on, man. Okay, fine. Uh, do I have water in my lab somewhere? I think I have water like right here. But uh, nope, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Nah, that wasn't makeable. Okay. So I spawned up here for some reason. Even though I spawned my spawn point down there and there. Right in there I have my spawn point. But for some reason, my spawn point is out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open our last one without any of the pendants that you saw in the chest. So those are very interesting pendants that will be helpful. And what did this just spawn? Um, I think that's the Skyblock Island. I don't think anything came. I don't think anything came out of that Chance Cube, but that's still a little bit scary. Because when new Chance Cube does nothing, you never know what could happen. Like I said, it could spawn structures, and you don't know what type of structure it'll spawn. And there is one known as like the giant chance cube, but I tried that and it literally crashed my game. So we're not going to be looking at that one, but when you guys d get this yourselves, be sure to play with that because that one is fun. I've seen it in many series I see from YouTubers. Don't mind me just fixing my headset. So here is our first pendant and how to make this pendant is four blocks of gold, four lapis, four lapis blocks and then a block of diamond right in the middle and you have your first tier which is this just tier one which means it'll oh yeah and I forgot to show you guys this this is a chance keep scanner so how to create this is for iron ingots for glass and a tier one chance pendant so you need to create the chance pendant to make this thing right here 
So, what we do with this is that if you use one of these, it'll use up the durability on this. And plus for this, as you can see, the chance cube, uh, the chance of this chance cube is 11, and with this pendant is 21. So it literally increases the luck on it, so we just got a bunch of redstone items. Pretty cool. So, that's the redstone drop I guess you could get. Let's see, this one here is, oh my god, negative two, that's not good. And then with eight, oh god. Um, so I put chance cubes in your chance cubes. Oh my god, no. And the rule is I have to open that because it was with this chance cube. Oh no, nothing happened. That's scary to think about though. Because if nothing happens, still, the suspicion like sticks with you. It's like, what just happened? Oh god. Thank god the ocelot ran away from me instead of me. Oof. I'm sorry, Mr. Ocelot. Oh god, that scared the flip out of me. No, 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 I wanted to hide. Oh god, I'm so happy I got out of there. <sighs> Thank goodness. Oh, I moved out of that. That's such a lucky time. Because if I wouldn't have moved out of that, I would have burned to death right there. Oh my god, that scared me twice because I didn't expect that sound. To be so loud, like I didn't expect it at all. So here's the last chance cube with this one. This is ne oh my god, no, it's the negatives. No, 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 no. You are not getting me with that. Uh uh. Nice. Whew. So now we are on to our next pendant. Thank goodness, because this pendant started giving us bad luck for some reason. So how to make this pendant right here is four gold and four lapis, just like that, and blocks. Then you need the tier 1 pendant and you'll upgrade it to a tier 2 pendant. And you just need 3 lucky blocks with. Not lucky blocks, but chance cubes with that. And let's see what we get with this one. I'm doing it far away from my chest. Because I don't want anything blowing up my chest and me just losing everything in it. It's better if I have everything in control. Ooh, build a snowman. Alright. Oh, um, yeah. There we go. And now he's here. Oh god. Oh my god. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May as well take it. But it literally gives you the stuff to make a diamond sword. That's so cool. And then it gives you a nice farming kit. So, this one pretty much gave us some good luck. I have to tell you that. This one actually gave me a lot of luck. Other than the last one. The tier 1 pendant at the end just started treating us so rudely. I don't know what was with that, but it didn't treat us very nicely after we did that. So now we're gonna go to the next pendant which is the tier 3 pendant and get onto that block. So then um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this and see what happens. So with this this is negative 25 but with the chan with the pendant it's 25. So we just got Dr. Traoris. Awesome! Nice to see you, Dr. Traoris. Let's see what you got. So his trade is 30 paper for one emerald. I think he just has normal trades. It's just that he is named. That's the only difference. But he's really cool. So as you can see, they got him in here. Really cool. And now we're on to our next one, which is, oh wow. A Giga Breaker, which is a, which is a nice wooden pickaxe. And if I test it on something, look. Just don't break iron blocks like I am with this thing because this thing does not pick up iron. But you guys can see how fast it is. Like, But the only thing bad about it is its durability. So yeah. If you're going to use this, use it on stone and use it wisely and carefully or else, you know, all its durability is going to go and then you'll no longer have it. So that's the only bad thing about wood. And then we got a bunch of gold stuff. Awesome. So I'm going to take this gold stuff. And this fire needs to stop recording. Let me just get rid of some of the stuff around it. There we go. That should be better. So I'm just going to drop all these items on the ground. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the chance isohedron. And we're going to see what we get. So let's go over here, open our three isohedrons, and we shall see what our luck is. Because these things could be very dangerous too. Just like chance cubes, these things are also very dangerous. I just got the achievement disco ball. It literally is like a floating disco ball. It really is. Give me luck. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Don't mind that singing voice. Uh, that was nothing. You heard nothing. You didn't see anything. You know, I better not just do it in the middle of the lava or else an item will probably fall of it and then I'll get very unlucky. Let's see what, um, this is a negative 100. Okay, I'm backing up. We're safe. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it was just a scare. That is so rude. Negative 100. What is this? It is 100. Okay, phew. Please be lucky, actually. Because you say you're 100, so you gotta be lucky. Come on. 100 luck? Ooh, it really is lucky. An enchantment table. Sweet. So that came out of the lucky one. So as you guys can see, those also have a chance of being very unlucky. We got a negative 100 and we got a positive 100. So that's that's how dangerous it can get. But I guess the creeper is just as scared. That's why that's why I said it's the trolliest version of the lucky block. Because they don't just spawn creepers on you. It tricks you. It gives you blindness and it spawns creepers around you so that you can see them. But they don't do anything. It just scares you. That's all it does. It's so rude. So now we're on to the next mod, which is the four leaf clover mod, which is these little guys. And if you right click them, you have a chance of getting an item, which I just got a shulker box on my first one, so that's really lucky. Or you have a chance of getting blown up by a creeper, so yeah, be careful. Be very weary with these things. What did I just get here? Ooh, a purple terracotta block? Sweet. Let me just see this. The potion, a uh, splash potion, sweet. Um, just got some glazed terracotta blocks, gray glazed. Then we just got some rabbit, gold ingot, um, lucky rabbit's foot, a disc. I'm just gonna grab all that before it gets blown by a creeper. Um, looks like black wool, some more terracotta, an anvil, gold leggings. Wow, I'm getting very lucky with these. Um, some clay. Ooh, lime. Um, more hardened stuff. Like, cool. This is this is all amazing stuff. An under pearl. So, we got some clay. We got some lime wool. We got a green shulker box, purple terracotta, two green concrete, black wool, and a gray, light gray terracotta. So, ooh, look another shulker box. Like, look how lucky I'm getting. And then we got, um, yellow concrete powder it looks like and then the last one gave us that so if you guys are wondering how to get those four leaf clovers you just you know punch grass punch grass for a while and it'll just drop them like this as you guys can see and you can just open it and get a random item from one of these guys so that's pretty much for this mod showcase if you guys have enjoyed be sure to hit that like button also if you want to request a mod for me to go over Go ahead, request one down in the comments. You get your name on the wall over here. Right over here, there's a wall of names and the mod that you've requested. It'll all go on this wall along here. And you guys will be featured there, of course. I'll be putting it in the video of me putting it down. Saying you guys' usernames. And putting the mod down on it. And then we'll review that mod that you guys wanted. So if you guys want to request a mod, go ahead. I'll enjoy doing that because I really love taking requests too. Lately we haven't had any requests, so I've just been going on the mod list just taking some random mods. There's nothing new, so I just went over two of them that I knew. And I kind of wanted to do just two of them because, you know, it's just enough for a video to be at least a little bit long. And a little bit more entertaining. And I wanted to go with the luck-based ones because those things are pretty fun to mess with. Because... The chance of danger is pretty funny, like the like the hot tub one, or put me in water and it's like, no, I want hot tubs to change straight to lava. I literally am lucky I jumped out of this before it turned into lava. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to do that stuff and also request a mod if you want one. And I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see up with my latest content and live streams so you don't miss that because I really love to talk to you guys while I live stream. I had a live stream yesterday and it was a pretty fun one because I did a burning map live and it was my first burning map of her life so maybe I'll keep doing that type of stuff you never know so I'm gonna wrap up this video here and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you my fellow stars!